Hello, everybody. We should be back. I hope you are well. Uh, I got a blue screen of death. Uh, yeah, fun story. Uh, just because of the way that we have things set up, Justin turned his computer on and it caused my computer to crash. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I, Justin, I know that's the vaguest thing that we could say, but, uh, yeah. It, it could possibly be partly the OBS update. Uh, it's mostly this HDMI split, splitter that I've got, whatever. Uh, but I'm blabbing a little bit so that people who have to sit through an ad can get back before we get rolling again. Yeah. Yeah, I went shopping in the meantime. But you went a shopping? Lot of stuff. Yeah, I went, I went yeah, to buy a you. lot of pumps and uh, and uh, power gems and all that, so that I don't have to do that later on in the run. Right, so are we back? We are, yeah. Yep. So let, well, this, this one is really creepy. This one is really creepy. Bro, are you sure you're on the right? Um, succulent flesh. Oh, I don't know. Maybe my uh, thing is dumb. Me. The right what? If I only had a way to keep track nope, of these No, you're days. fine. Oh. Ah. Mm, and it detained myself. Old man. <laughs> oh, yes. What could possibly go wrong? Oh. <laughs> you just said a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so just need to... This, this one? is the best fish in the kingdom, but it's missing something. What could it be? Uh, have you tried seasoning? Seasons like winter? Get out of here! Oh, I do not trust your food. Snow flavor? You're wasting my time. Snow flavor? Interesting. All right, so. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, just so you know, like, potentially part of the reason that the splitter sometimes has issues is that it is an old Radio Shack splitter. <laughs> like, maybe, maybe you should update that. I might need to update someday. Yeah. Well, at the very least, like, I've had it happen. I don't think I've ever had a full crash because of it, but I've had weird things happen because of that. So I'll have to keep in mind that maybe I should update. Hey, y'all, if you want to help me update my Radio Shack splitter, you can just subscribe or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and now it's my computer that... Uh... Is having slow down for some reason, but that's all right. So we'll use the, the fruit right here, and that unlocks the key to our next character. And after that, I can go grab like the, the best upgrade to uh, to the sword. Ah, seeing you in your peak reminds me of the good old days. The good old days. I really liked making waves. Know what I mean? I'm getting worked up just thinking about it. Oh, I like this guy. Never mind. I don't like him that much. <laughs> Time to go home. I can reach Dimer's Lair. What's the plan? Take all five retrieved jewel shards to the smith. He'll restore them into the jewel of Faramore. Ooh. He'll then use the jewel to imprison Dimer in the Book of Ocarin. So we're just repeating the past? Not exactly. I won't be there this time. I guess I better get going. Yeah, Good get luck. out of here. The kingdom is counting yeah. on you. Yeah, what he said. Hey, don't forget this. Throw the book at him, Arzy. You can, can she just imprison him? Nope, she doesn't care for the book. Get rid of the book. Uh, you know what? Maybe we can. I don't. I don't know how the sh the show ends. The game. The game ends. Show for me. Game for you. You know. 
Oh, geez. Yeah, so I didn't realize that was something you could walk on. Yeah, that's actually the secret passage that you can take to grab this upgrade really early on in the game. So that's like a, a secret path that the, the dev kept in. And uh, as a result, now I can uh, charge my, my sword and uh, there's a glitch uh, with the game that uh, that makes it that if you uh, throw the wave right above an enemy's head and hit the enemies with uh, the sword, you're going to deal uh, triple damage to them. So is that on purpose or is that just how it is? Uh, it was a glitch, uh, but they decided to keep it in because the, the thought it was uh, interesting to play with. <laughs> Here to challenge me? <laughs> what behooves you to... I think this guy was in Zelda 2. I think it's like the you first boss of Zelda 2. the first two, boss, yeah. Hey, you... <laughs> Enough! Rain it in! Kill him! Clive? Oh, he's so dead. Come here! Stop horsing around! <laughs> you just jump over him. Oh no. <laughs> this game is so extra. I love it. All right, so now that we have the wave, we're going to get the... the up. Oh no, actually I have to go above because I need to unlock. Can't mess that up, that's all right. Yeah, you, you did get a little health up. Uh, Oh geez, everything here deals a lot of damage. Yeah, hopefully I don't die on the screen, but that's all right. Uh... You're doing okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, it's not too bad. And anyway, in this mode, I can't lose that much time because, well, infinite. Uh... Infinite continues, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, I really appreciate that they have a mode to make you do that. Yeah, they also have a mode, like really the wow. final one that you unlock you is a uh, make waves. <laughs> is one where you, you have really only a single life. Spirit right back into me. <laughs> if you want to do it Here, really hard. Let me teach you how to double those waves. Double okay, waves. Here we go. Yes. Double waves. So. Now we're waves. good. Yeah. Also, really weird the chat say, thinks this looks like Wand of Gamelon. Wow. In the kingdom. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, fighting diamonds. I've, I've <laughs> never right. heard of that game. Haven't you noticed his return? No, oh, that dreadful villain. Heavens to Betsy. I, I just want to get back to the ballroom. Ah, the ballroom. Get out of here. Go to right. the ballroom, boy. Ball boy, ball okay. boy, go to the ballroom. Going to charge the sword and talk to this guy. Ugh. Howdy there, stranger. Ha! I take it you're on a quest. Right. Apologies for the hole. Oh, oh, no worries about that. I could use a little sunshine in here anyway. Okay. <laughs> dig further down, maybe I can finally get some plumbing in here too. You know, an adventurer has got to explore all curiosities. Curiosities? Yeah. Crack walls. Strange spaces. Investigate them. Of course, you don't seem to be afraid of throwing those bombs. I once even heard of a hero finding a cooked turkey leg in a wall. Oh, oh, oh. seasoned to perfection, the legend says. Yeah, you might even find Wait, a few wall coins turkey in is, the way. Wall chicken is the best chicken. Fools. Wall chicken, Keep good chicken. Field, you hear? Thanks. I'll do my best. I also oh, that's the spirit. do enjoy that that mic is definitely not the same mic, and they added an yeah, echo yeah, yeah. in order to help disguise that a little bit. Prince, <laughs> I love it. May I make Same. a request? Count Denny, aren't you a vampire? Yes, but I just like making breakfast. <laughs> you know, eggs, pancakes. Yes. How can I help you? That jerk Duke Nodelki has taken residence in my castle. No. So I'm stuck here. The nerve. Could you ask him to leave? Well, I was heading that way. Oh, perfect. If you vacate him, I have something that will make it worth your time. Ooh, a kiss. 
Hopefully you hopefully his gift doesn't suck. <laughs> Welcome to the kingdom's finest library. Our oh, volumes cover maybe all it does. manner of subjects. Uh -oh. I think you would be you would be able to guess what what his gift is. Hmm. Well you would ask about that. No, and I'm if I may be so think. bold, I'd say this mess could have been avoided if the Book of Okra I mean, was it's a wall chicken. by a skilled librarian like myself. Hmm, skills? Oh. Like prioritizing the romance section? Quiet, you miserable wretch! Right, we're done with this section, then... This is actually one of the earlier levels in the game that you're supposed to go through. But, uh, yeah. I'll take a look. What you get is not that interesting. If you run out of light, you might not make it back. Actually, actually, you get a shield, which is pretty useful casually. Yeah, I imagine. The shield makes it. The, the shield mechanic is actually uh, pretty good. It's really different from the the CDI games. So in the CDI games, you would be forced to uh, stay still to be able to protect yourself. Uh, in um, this version, it has a dedicated button. It's more like a sphere that slows you down, but uh, protects you uh, really, really well. And actually, this is the way. Whee! Yeah, are you able to see because you have the lantern? Uh, no, actually the la the lantern kind of uh, lights up uh, a bigger area. Uh, this is just the, the normal behavior. Ah, gotcha. Uh, when, you, when, when you don't have uh, the lantern uh, uh, on at all. And yeah, this section I'm still not really used to it. Oops. Hey, you yeah, got extra health. That, that always helps. Uh, got to switch magic. Gee, I'm hungry. <laughs> Anything I can do? I could go for something real funky, you know? I'll see what I can find. Ooh, something funky. That voice sounded really familiar as well. Uh, that's... That's actually uh, one of the people from Digital Foundry. I don't know if you know these guys. They do a lot of tech and analysis uh, on recent games. And they actually, some of them actually did uh, some game design and level design for this game. Oh, that's and, so cool. And yeah, they do voices as well. And that was one of them. So, and honestly, you, uh, I mean, it's pretty hard to. Oh, forgot to take the candle. Uh, it's really hard to recognize him. Uh, I wasn't expecting that guy to do that voice. <laughs> yeah, I I wouldn't have known who it is personally, but I uh, like I'm I'm just a scarecrow. I am more than just a mere scarecrow. I can teleport. Oh, so like you a scarecrow in Zelda. Here. Can you? Ow! But if I please Dama, he'll surely boast of my power. You know, I could teach you. Wise, prepare to be shot! Oh no! Right, so I'm trying to do, do the exploit on, on him. So the idea is that you throw the wave before you land on him, and if I do it properly, it takes a lot more damage. I think you got it once or twice in that fight. Yeah, I, I got it. Uh, I think the last time was right as well, but his health was already pretty low. I think I got it a couple of times, yeah. Caw! Princess, I can't thank you enough. I should be thanking you. Macaw! No, you gave me the courage to face my greatest fear. You pushed me to push him off. Oh no, that's Allow creepy. me to teach you to move. Like a crow. Ooh. That by flying? Good. I must be off. Probably. Oh, it's backdash. Yeah, it's a backdash that you have to activate by pressing down an A. This is a backdash. And 
Unfortunately, uh, it's uh, pretty useless. <laughs> Even in a, in a casual run, I don't think a lot of people uh, use that. Yeah, I, I could see maybe a couple situations where it could be useful, but kind of rare. Yeah, the thing is that you have to do like two inputs uh, at the same time to actually be able to use it. So that's kind of a lot, uh, especially since, uh, well, it's just easier to just move back, you know? Yeah, I, I, I love that like she expected more than that and the crow's just like, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Nope. Uh, yeah. And that, that might actually be part of the joke. I, I, I think it is part of the joke that it's you basically know how useless. To put the moves on ghouls. I'm grateful for you sucking it to those unruly ghosts. Feeling bonesome tonight? Here's something that'll really have you all shook up. My work is pretty grave, but that doesn't mean I can't groove in my bone suede shoes. My gosh. That's not bone suede shoes. That doesn't even make any sense. I mean, that must be a reference to... Uh, well, blue suede uh, shoes Elvis? is Elvis, yeah. But bone suede... There's no bone suede. That's not... It's not real. Ooh, I like... I like a lot of the music in this as well. Uh, yeah, the thing is, like, a lot of games that have, like, uh, nods to popular references or, uh, community stuff, a lot of games that are like that tend to not be fantastic, but this is, like, this does all that, and this is really a cool game, too. Like, yeah, I, I think maybe I... The only criticism that I might have, but that's kind of part of what they wanted to do, was really to stick really, really close to the CGI game. So you feel that some mechanics should be a, could be a little bit more developed, but uh, but I mean overall the game is really fantastic. I would never believe playing something like this, like having a, a sequel to this game is just awesome. Right, yeah. this boss is this boss is really annoying because he has a lot of RNG and uh, his uh, fireballs deals a lot of damage. Uh, I'm going to try to do double damage on them. I got it right there, so that's pretty nice. Good. No, yeah. Okay, that's super good. Okay, that's also good. And we're done. That was what? pretty fast. So. My father showed you mercy once. You're right. He was honorable. Now he's I won't dead. make the same mistake. No! Don't kill me! Ta so yeah, th this character is a direct reference to uh, to one of the characters in uh, Wend of Gamelon. And in Wend of Gamelon, they just tell you that he is going to jail. Um, I think yeah. I know this voice actor. Awesome! I'm a big fan! I oh, can't believe that dumb princess is trying to Yeah, that dumb me. princess. Yeah. Have you seen her around? I want words! <sighs> Actually, I'm parched. You got anything to drink? I have some water. Ha <laughs> ha uh, you're killing me here. Literally. I need oil, silly. Crisp oil! <laughs> We need okay, oil. Okay, so, yeah, and that's like the, I don't know, wrong level, that's actually in the fort. Yeah, this is just a set of rooms where we have to uh, get rid of all these guys. There okay. are really ch little challenges that you have to get to. Oh, this music's so good. It's pretty nice. Up the devil damage there, but that's all right. This one might as well do it that way. That's really, really good because we got that guy in the armor right away. And 
those things take fire back. There we go. Yeah. And here we go. We we've got the oil. Uh, no, I don't want to use the rope. Like the rope is kind of a, a weird uh, addition to the game is because in the CDI here? game they would allow you to climb to a higher platform. Here they send you back to the start of the level, but you can just exit the level through the menus anyway. So it's it's just a bit weird. It feels like uh, the the they change a few things along the way, but decided to keep much, the cutscenes and all that. Can see stuff like this, right? It's a funky fungus. Funky fungus. <laughs> Try to save that five times fast. You know, if the princess was more like you, the kingdom would be a better place. But say, I didn't catch your name. I've got a date with Dimer. See you later. I don't even know who this demon girl is, but she's cool. She's a fan, that's all. She's a fan? Yeah. I'm here to restore the a fan of uh, Daimer. My oh. sword. The, the mean villain. <laughs> I don't even need the whole jewel. <laughs> May I? So this is a pretty nice upgrade because what it does is that I don't have to switch between magics anymore. And I give you purple magic. <laughs> Go get them, princess. Uh -oh. May luck find you. It's time I finish this for good. Purple magic. Right. Not so... to be uh, confused with blue magic for those of us who are colorblind. But let's see. Okay, I, I will judge and see if they made it distinct enough. Well, the next floor, no next floor I'm going to break a uh, Really? Purple, uh, Thank you. Purple. Oh, is he upset? Sadly, he couldn't keep a level head. Wow. A pity. Now your reward. A special calendar. What? I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm off! <laughs> Visit me in That's my castle needs. if you ever need a slam dunk of a breakfast. I don't... I didn't ask for that. I, I wanted... I thought we were getting wall chicken, but I guess not. Here to mock me, are you? No, yeah. I just wanted to. I cannot descend from this cursed shelf! Yes. I was able to get here just fine. Yeah, I heard. Please! I have forgotten the sun's warmth! Silence, worm! You could use the books to climb. Oh, how I hate libraries! Oh! Why are you a librarian, dude? Yeah, he went into the wrong field, let me tell you. So, we're going to get a, a ladder for, for him, and for some reason it's uh, in this level. So these are the purple blocks. I don't know if you can tell the difference okay. with the other ones. I, I personally can. Uh, I think they have different shapes on them as well to help. So yeah. I, 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 I appreciate giving multiple things. It's just uh, one recommendation. If you do give different shapes to help, uh, having some other visible thing perhaps at the top left to show what type of magic you're using. If you have the pattern on that, then bam, you've done your job. People now know uh, the link between the pattern and the type of magic. Anyways, that just a recommendation, okay? Just a small, we're nitpicking here because I love this game so much. Yeah, I think the, well, the main advantage is that by this point in the game, you just use a single item for everything, so. You don't need to be able to tell the difference that much at this point. But yeah, before that, uh, it can be annoying, actually. Uh, happy to help. Ooh, I'm stuffed. I'm gonna take a nap. Uh oh. There we go. And next, I forgot what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, the fishing lady. Seasons again. Is this again. a ball of snow? I'm holding a cleaver, you know. It's called salt. Try it. Mm. 
will all be. This is the best thing since Maki's bread. Duh. I'm gonna be rich. Sorry about before. Here, take it. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on everything. <laughs> Of the worst. Well, good. Put salt on everything. Not a whole lot of salt, but a little salt. You need your food properly seasoned. I mean, unless, but but also uh, not as seasoned as Americans. Uh, but put a normal amount. Normal amount of salt. Alright, uh, sh should be able to get through with that. Okay, at least get through the door, so we're going to take a death. So that I don't have to worry about all this and I can just damage boost through everything. Yeah. I've got something for you. Oh, thanks, princess. I don't have much, but... Will you grow more flowers for me? I'll turn this here swamp into a flower field. Yeah. You'll see. Yeah. I love it. Plant the flowers. Make a field of flowers. Flower field. Yeah, I'm sorry. We have to go back see that creepy guy that was in the... Uh... That wants he wants his calendar. He wants his own calendar, so we have to bring it to him. Oh, the most beautiful, sparkly sights of Faramore. All your troubles are He's a creep. that will keep your flesh and bones safe and warm. Such a creep. Oh. Oh, oh, young oh. one, it's time for me to mark the days. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh. At least this item is really useful because it just makes you invincible to everything. I think maybe not the final boss. Uh, at least the final boss is not that hard. So. Ah, uh, well, oh no, he got you. Yeah, that's that's fine. I'm just, yeah. I'm very invested in this game. I've, like, this, this has been so much fun. Does the water insta kill you? Uh, yeah. I yeah, love it. Just so Look, it. you're afraid of water. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it's so funny that you have, like, this really calm looking area with death everywhere because it's just water that kills you. I mean, like classic video games, you know, turns out a day on the beach could be your worst nightmare in video games. <laughs> All right, so yeah, these coins, uh, these coins I used uh, with the rats. Uh, the rat uh, is the one that you uh, that you race. Uh, in the different levels. I think actually I could have made that jump. This is exactly what I need. Were you looking for anything, dearie? Actually, yes. I need refined chains, coated with sacred oil, but those are impossible to find. Got him off a of mummy ages ago. Thought they were used for a jail spell, but he just disintegrated. They're all yours. Let's see, a bit of ogre hair and... Oh, what was it? It's a uh, final time back to Pharma. We're going to get the, the big upgrade to the sword, so that makes you almost one-shot every enemy. These are what you need, yeah? Y yes, that's... How did you... Oh, oh thank you. It's time to have some fun. May I? How is he holding the hammer? <laughs> He's just that good. 
I mean, look. You can't I mean, see. Oh, he gave a thing. key. Uh, the, I, I'm glad that it wasn't a one and done like joke. Because yeah, he he's already like lifted and handed stuff over, and he doesn't have hands. He keeps going. Oh my gosh. I, I love I love how long this cutscene goes. <laughs> this is a very Family Guy esque like cutscene right here. And if you, and this is the only cutscene that does this as well. <laughs> can't skip? You can't skip it? Yeah, if you're trying to skip it, it just tells you that you oh can't. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> the smart chainsword. Yes! In the past, I'd wield it, but now it's yours. Amazing. How can I repay you? You already have. By rekindling the kiln in my heart. If you ever need anything, I'm here. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're a doll! They're so perfect! Ooh. Oh, whoa. As promised, a hero gave me this canteen. Drink from it, and it'll renew your spirits. Ta ta! Ta ta! <laughs> I like. I like her. I, I like most of the people in this game. It's, it's great. Like, even people who I would normally hate in a game, I love in this. They're great. Uh, will this help get you down? Oh, sweet relief! So long! <laughs> <laughs> Break the wind? Like, you could have used the ladder inside! Oh my gosh! Whatever. Just break the All right, window. So this is the final stage. Uh, uh oh. We, we we should have like uh, just a couple of minutes. Yeah, that's that's fine. I think we're I think we're good. Yeah. Right, point, point, point. Especially with this music. Come on. Final boss. I've been expecting you, Arzet. All alone? What a pity. <laughs> I've always wondered, Dimer, why did you embrace the darkness? Why choose this? Why not? Power is all that matters. Those that don't agree deserve death. I've heard enough. And I've had enough <laughs> today. I will end your pathetic, peace-loving bloodline. When your life ends, my reign begins. Die! Die! Oh no! And, and this is a, a small chase sequence. Oof. Let's try not to mess it up. And that's it. I will that's it? Yeah, no, because in the, in the original uh, CDI game, uh, all the bosses just died in one hit, and they kept that tradition the for the final the boss. So you then just have you to have shape lost, them and you I love it. Why reform the jewel then? Did you kill my minions for fun? Maybe we are alike after all. <laughs> the yeah. jewel is in here. You use the sword to kill <laughs> evil Wait, things. No. With your power, we can rule the kingdom together! You will never threaten Faramore again. For good. Yeah. Oh, it burns! <laughs> <No! laughs> <sighs> 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 yeah, I'm sorry, oh, Rosinja. We're not going to murder Zet, Dale. Destroyer of Dimer! Oh, yay! Maybe we can now. <laughs> All too kind. However, I can't claim this victory as my own. In many ways, you all helped. Likewise, I can't claim this kingdom as my own. <gasps> On this day forward, Faramore will belong to all of its citizens. 
Let's work together in a new era of democracy. Oh, so I've seen what they'll vote for. Cool. Go back. What do we do now? Well, how about a feast? They're gonna vote for yeah. Dale. We've won. Yeah, probably. And that's time. Yay! Oh, time there. <laughs> yeah, this... sure. Time, time. We did it. Yay! The timer is totally accurate. This was fan freaking tastic, Neitzel. Again, Arzet, it came out a week or two ago on Steam yeah. and Switch, I believe. Uh, I yeah, it's, it's I on want to play everything. this. I think it's on everything. Uh, there's still a physical version that is being prepared, but yeah, as always, it's super expensive. Uh, but yeah, overall, this game is. I think it's. I mean, if you enjoy the CDI games, <laughs> with it. This is definitely a go that you should try them out. If you enjoy Metroidvania's games like uh, the Monster Boy series, I think you would enjoy this uh, as well. It's really, really good. Uh, it has a lot of hearts and it's really, really fun to play. Yeah. I want to give this a shot. I, I think I'm going to have to grab this sometime uh, when I get the chance. Uh, now, with that said, Let's go ahead and do a little bit of an outro for you as we jam to this music. Uh, what? Yeah, where can people find you? What are you streaming these days, if you are streaming? Uh, I'm not streaming much, but I'm trying to do it uh, a bit more often. Uh, so yeah, at the moment it was mostly as it. I'm trying to speed run this. Uh, in the next, Probably next month, well, I'll probably move on to another game. I was planning to learn Fantasia for the Genesis. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I was going to say, you just speed run games that end with et. Uh, but yeah, Fantasia. Et. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I did, I did Zedet as well. Yeah, I don't Zedet. know any other games. If you know of the games that finish with et, maybe I can have a look at them. Uh, I'm not going to dig through games to find that. Yeah, <laughs> but well, uh, but but yeah, I wanted to learn Fantasia because it's a game that sounds so horrible when you play it. It kind of it kind of makes me laugh, and I want to play it. <laughs> congratulations! I love that it says congratulations at the end. It's so good. Oh, yeah, I, I feel like I'm playing like. Daytona USA or something now. Daytona. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it sounds like that, and I like the the fact that they are teasing uh, something else apparently with uh, with RZ, So we'll see what they'll do. I hope Maybe. she returns. Well, the the credits says that she will, so we'll see what the dev does uh, with the character. Uh, I hope they move a little bit away from the CDI stuff, take a little, take a little bit more liberties. But uh, yeah, I think it was an, uh, it's an awesome game. It's a uh, for first project, really well done to the devs because it's amazing. Yeah, I think this was fantastic. I love watching this. Well, thank you so much, Neitzel. We'll go ahead and let you go for the yeah. night. You probably need to go sleep anyway. Yeah, it's only 3 a.m. over here. <laughs> so no big deal, right? No big deal. <laughs> it's so, only 3 a.m., yeah. okay. Uh, 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 have a good evening. Uh, see ya, everyone. Bye. See ya, take care. Oh my gosh, Corn Dan. That was absolutely amazing. I loved it, like, seriously. Uh, why am I thinking of that? I, I was thinking of, like, the Iraq and, like, such as... I've got Miss Teen South Carolina or North Carolina stuck in my head right now. That's okay. Uh, yeah, our our Z is definitely better than that. And you know who else is better? Meekin. Let's go talk to Meekin, Meekin and see how they're doing. Meekin, Meekin, how you doing? Hi. Wait, am I on? Hi. You are, yeah. Let me go ahead and turn you up so everybody can hear your bright, beautiful voice. How you oh, doing no, today? Don't do that. Well, I won't turn it up oh, that well. much, just like the okay. right amount. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, so let me go ahead. I, I got to work on capturing this real quick. Uh, sure, I can get to a I brighter screen if you would like it. 
Nah, I think this is going to be fine. Uh, it okay. should only take about 30 seconds or so. So, how are you doing? Anything exciting? Um, not particularly, I think. That's Just playing video games. Oh, who yeah. would have guessed? Well, you've got a game for us called Maiden Spell, which I know nothing about. I, uh, other than there, uh, it's probably anime girls. That seems to be your jive sometimes, or your your jam. Are there bunny girls? There's one, yes. Okay, if there wasn't a bunny girl, I would have been shocked. There's one. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, good. So we've uh, we've got this. Now, uh, people may know you because you've helped out a lot with GDQ, your staff over there. You've uh, played yeah. in Cuso Grande before and... <laughs> a couple times, yeah. A, a little bit, yeah. Like most of you're, them. You're also, you're also famous for breaking BBG. Yeah. So I think I'm also famous for... I'm getting famous for causing problems during this show because... The last show I was on was like a three week delay after you had me on. And then the stream also broke today. So I was worried it was going to happen again. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, oh my gosh, having another delay. Yeah, me, I don't know. That would have been horrifying. I'm glad that we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm. Thank you for being here. Thanks for at least being willing to be flexible. Yeah, last week, of course. Uh, everybody, we wouldn't, we didn't have the show because my mother was in the hospital and I was kind of busy freaking out a little bit. Uh, she's doing much better though. She's out. Good. She's uh, on oxygen and actually might be off oxygen now uh, because she's like, I want to get to the point where I don't have to use it. I'm like, just take it slow, mom. Take it slow. But yeah, she, as far as I know, she's doing pretty dang good right now. So good to hear, I, good to hear. you didn't curse her too much, Meekin. Okay, good. I would have felt really bad if I cursed your mother. <laughs> I didn't know you had that power. I didn't either. <laughs> well, cool. We've got Maiden and Spell here. I think we're ready whenever you are. I think you're ready? Okay. So I'm going to jump in. I'm going to show off. This is... Not really a speedrun per se. I'm gonna show off two of the of the six story modes. I'm gonna show off two of them. Okay. And then if we have time left over, which we should unless I mess up, um, I have maybe some people that will hop into multiplayer versus with me. Oh, cool. Okay. So, yeah. So I guess I can just start the game. And yeah, I'm ready whenever you about. are. Yeah, sure. Uh, three, two, one, go. Whatever. So this is a bullet hell 1v1 versus game. You go head to head against the enemy and you have a couple different abilities and you're trying to hit them <laughs> and not get hit yourself in the meantime. So yep, this is kind of like the um, the bunny game. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, last month I played um, a game called Rabbit and Steel, which is the second game by this developer. Well, this is the first game by the developer. While that game is more of a co-op experience, this is more of a single player, or not single player, a, uh, a versus one instead. Okay, interesting. So how the, the single player usually goes is that at the top of the screen, you'll see some hearts and you'll see some cards next to next to the characters' faces. Um, the hearts is the amount of hits you can take before you lose a card, and if you lose all of your cards, you lose. You gotcha. lose for real. Um, so cards are like lives. Yeah, okay. cards are like lives, and your hearts are your hits. So okay. how the single player goes, it's a little bit different than the, the versus mode, um, is that the enemy, the first three hearts that the enemy has are is how it would be in a normal versus game, 1v1. And the the last heart of their card, trying not to say heart of the card here, um, <laughs> is, is, is some sort of like stationary bullet hell dodgy attack. Um, and that's, that's gonna be kind of how we're ultimate. You're gonna see, so she's gonna like move to a set part of the screen and 
um, just like do completely different attacks. And you actually like do damage in this phase rather than just trying to hit them once. It, it's, and you kind of alternate your attacks. Oh, try not to get hit. Yeah, that's, that's what we're going to be doing. That's nice that you can continuously uh, continuously keep doing stuff. It, it means that you have a lot to think about, though, because attacking yeah. and defending at the same time in any kind of bullet hell can be really difficult, especially oh, since yeah. it, it looks like really you have stressful. to kind of have, like, timed attacks or charged attacks. Yeah, so each of the... I guess that's a good segue into, like, how the controls actually work. The basic controls for each character are pretty much the same. You have a button that shoots straight at the enemy. You have a button that specifically does not shoot straight at the enemy. Um, it will, like, not hit them if they're standing still. And you have a, a special attack that's on a cooldown. That's my giant moon that I'm dropping. That's my, my special. Gotcha. Um, and then you have a defensive, which typically will make you immune to damage for a second, but has a fairly substantial cooldown to prevent you from spamming it. And yeah, that's what we're doing here. I'm going to try not to I, get I, hit. I, I'm kind of disappointed that the moon only does one damage. I mean, you just dropped a freaking moon on people. Well, it's true. Well, it does a good amount of damage when you're in the when you're in these sections. Look, it's Sephiroth six, can six. explode the solar system and you still don't die. Like, we're we're doing well, anime logic here. Well, that's because he's here. bad at it. <laughs> he's bad at exploding yeah, the universe. He doesn't universe. have very much practice doing yeah, that. Yeah, it's that's true. Not something you can put on your resume. Well, I mean, after the Earth is destroyed. Uh, <laughs> look, look clear, clearly he's not good at it because there's still a planet, right? You didn't get exploded. I'm still here. Yeah. There's no longer... Humanity, question mark? Look, if, if Sephiroth was good at his job, right, nobody would be around. So Sephiroth inherently has to be bad at his job so somebody can maybe talk about how good he might be at his job. I mean, <laughs> as far as I can tell, he, like, pretty much got rid of Midgar. He did a relatively good job, like... If he if he did a good job, he'd have taken over the world like Kafka. Kafka is the only Final Fantasy villain that actually succeeded. I haven't played I, any Sephiroth of them usually. No is that goal, still true? Sephiroth well, was just yeah. like, I hate, you Sephiroth know. Sephiroth had mommy's issues. Uh, I'm upset about mommy. We're going to try to destroy humanity. And he did, like, in the ending... Uh, most humanity is gone. I'd say that he did his job. Well, I'm Not still here. Really. Yeah, see? Kefka, however, took actually took over the world and succeeded in, until until he didn't. But Kefka is the one who's actually most likely to succeed. He is voted most likely to succeed. But most likely. You know this. Whatever. Uh, I saw, I saw the picture. did his job. He wanted to be a freaking tree. <laughs> No, X Death already was a tree. Well, he wanted that, to that stay a bunch a of evil tree. people made more evil. Wow, imagine being a tree. Like, where are you gonna go? Yeah, that's fair. Uh, well, when you put all of your evil into a tree, then the tree like does things. I'd we say, know, like everybody knows this. They they teach that in like freshman year biology class in high school. If you play Final Fantasy 15, the villain kind of wins for a while. Uh, I don't know about 16. Yeah, I'd say that, like, Kefka is no longer so unique, stupid little jester boy. <laughs> okay, okay, chat says, BS Ben in chat says, X-Death was all bark and no bite. Uh, I mean... That is, that's true. I mean, okay. killed that one guy, right? <laughs> I mean, that's a that's a freaking Pocahontas joke. Come on, they they made that in Disney's Pocahontas. Uh, Grandmother Willow, thank you, Grandmother Willow. You're pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, about this is about how, here's the bunny. She's bunny! the fastest character in the game, and I, I really I like playing her a lot, even though I'm not very good at it because she's just way too fast. Bunny. Uh, so yeah, if we get into the multiplayer, fast. if we get into the multiplayer thing later on, I'll probably use her a couple times. Wait, come back, and get moon. absolutely wrecked. Yeah, I. Good night, Moon. 
Good it's man. nice, like, that they have specific patterns, but it seems like the movement is at least random enough uh, that, you know, you have to do a decent amount of thinking in order to adjust to what they're doing. Mm hmm. Yeah, I like that. The, like, uh, go ahead. The in the in the versus portion, not the they call these the the Magnus attacks. These these big attacks here in the non-Magnus portions, it is fairly random because it's a CPU and a shmup. They'll get hit when they want to get hit, right? Yeah. So you kind of just have to just survive until they decide to get hit enough times to move on to this section. But these sections are normally, whoops, I messed up. Are normally pretty static, and you don't have to worry about it too much. So since I lost all of my hearts, I go back to the the non Magnus portion of the of whatever card I'm on right now. So I gotta I gotta deal three more hits to get back to where I was. Gotcha. Okay. Um, if I manage to defeat one of their their Magnus attacks here, I get all of my hearts back. So it's not like I don't really have to deal with, I don't have to deal with it that much as long as I'm not getting hit a bunch in a small amount of time. One other thing, the character I'm playing as the uh, the Royal Arcanist. That's the character I'm playing as. One of the things she's she a witch. has. What? So she's a witch. She's a witch. Yeah, she's, she's a witch. The whole thing covering one eye. She's almost like a. It's like a bunny ear ribbon. It's kind of the same thing, but not really. <laughs> not at all. Uh, <laughs> but I, I like the imagination there. Uh, <laughs> She's got a she's got debuffs she can put on the target to make it more difficult for them to play. Like she has a, a slow debuff, a um, a miniature debuff that makes all of their bullets smaller. But the the debuff's a little hard to land. But during the Magnus attack, it's almost like free damage because it's not like they can really dodge it. Yeah, just gonna drop moons on the bunny. And not get zapped. I mean, that sounds um, sounds like a good strategy. <laughs> Probably the bet. Little zap. Little. What? That's fine. Okay. Like, like isn't zap. the best strategy? You know, do all the damage and don't die. Don't get hit. Yeah, that's the that's the hard part of the game. Yeah, um, you get all of your health back after you defeat the Magnus phase, though, right? Yep. Yep. I got all my all my four back, so it's really not all that scary. Woo. And it will be a little scary later on once I do the uh, the other story mode I'm planning to do. So yeah, I think this game has eight characters in it, so it's it's pretty varied. The characters are definitely very varied. Um, they play totally different. You got fast characters, you got slow characters, you have some people that have an intense amount of setup that they can kind of checkmate your opponent's options to where they're forced to get hit, but you have to deal with all that setup beforehand. Um, yeah, it's 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 very varied. There's a character out there for everyone, let's say. There is so much chaos. Yeah, this is very bullet hell -y. <laughs> It is. The single-player seconds definitely get more bullet hell than... Well, I, I don't want to say that than the multiplayer. I don't really want to say that because it can get pretty wild in some multiplayer matches depending on the characters you have. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll have to see what happens if we get there. New record. New record. I've played this a couple times. Maybe I'll get a couple records. Beaten. Congratulations. Thank you. This is this is Red Hood. I hate fighting Red Hood because she has these stationary bolts that I run into all the time. I, I love it. The the biggest enemy, the bullets that don't move. Yeah, yeah, that's the hardest thing to dodge. Did you? Oh, I, I can just swing by that no problem, and then you clip it. Yeah, of course. That or it's like, oh, I need to pay attention to the moving stuff, and then it's like, oh, there's the not yeah, they, moving stuff. Yeah, oh, you're like no. your peripheral isn't isn't designed to pay attention to the stuff that isn't moving. <laughs> So, do you always fight the same characters in the same order, or is it different? It depends on which character you have selected on the story mode. Um, gotcha. You fight six opponents, and with the one you have, 
that means that there's one opponent that you just don't fight at all during the story mode. But okay. depending on which character you select, you fight them in different orders as well. Uh, the very first enemy I fought was, was Lich, the Lich of Flowers, and she only had two attacks, but in someone else's story, she's the final boss and has like six attacks. Oh, that's fun. So they get more attacks as you go on. Yeah, the later in the in the in the story mode they appear, the uh, the more you'll have to deal with them. That's so fun. That adds a lot of variety here. Yeah, like, it does. Yeah, like fighting games. Usually, the way that they uh, uh, increase like matches over time is that the AI just gets a little quote unquote better. Uh, but this, mm -hmm. it's it's not just that; it's adding new attacks and. Like, they're so... Yep. Like, just watching the game, it's so cool to watch. It's really... It's... There's just so much going on. I love this game. It's really fun. I ran a tournament for this game at GDQ the couple last month. Aha! Uh -huh. And who won? Who won? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't play it. Uh, I ran it, but I, don't, I couldn't tell you. Oh, wait. No, I, I can tell you. You might know, because they joined... Uh, I think they joined the Cruso Grande server and may have joined the tournament. Oh, really? I wonder if I got that wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have claimed that. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. Okay, well, I won't try to guess. Maybe that. it was maybe it was someone that was just in the tournament that joined and did that. I don't remember. There but, were a uh, couple people yeah. who came over from Cruso Grande Live. Uh, with, yeah, yeah. By the way, uh, I am getting a submission ready for GDQ that's going to be very different. Uh, we're excited to record maybe next week. You know, Mondays Ooh. have been my practice days, and uh, yeah, it's been a lot Is it lot Kid Cool? No, <laughs> we're doing a board game. Ooh. Yeah, and we'll find out if uh, they think that they... Uh, uh, have the guts to have a board game at GDQ. <laughs> <laughs> a board game? You know, don't, I don't think, make us I board game. Be, I, I oh think it'd gosh. be more impressive if you would do like a 30 minute Kid Cool run. <laughs> okay, Everyone well, would be more you're impressed cool that you actually did. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't need to do it to show off how cool I am. <laughs> right, if, if you met my kid, my kid is so cool. I am just like, I need cool to meet your proxy. cool kid, <laughs> but not cool kid, not kid, not cool. cool. No, that, kid. that would not kid cool, cool kid. What about the speed, the speed runner cool kid? He, he plays Mega Man game. The, the thing is, like, I'm learning about me. Uh, I, I'm learning that I. Uh, I, I believe that I have what's referred to as pathological demand avoidance. And it's like, as soon as there's a demand, something becomes a heck of a lot harder for me. Like, super hard. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like I told people, I want to do Shadowbringers on stream. And guess what? I had one stream of it, and now it's like a nightmare for me to try to even go into it i just like i i need to find a way to deal with it i need to find a way to deal with the pathological blah 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 tell me to never play it. kid oh, cool that's almost, right and then i will almost got a new record oh i didn't i'm not paying attention all to the numbers <laughs> like like hundredths of a second off dang dang did it say almost new record <laughs> That would Almost be hilarious. No, I, but, but I've been watching, right? Oh, the timer in the bottom right? Yeah. I couldn't even tell you what any of them, those numbers are. Well, I'm watching for it. This is, this character is Depth's Secret. That's her name. She shoots these little Hydra heads, but we, we always call them- They look them like kitty cats. Yeah, they we call do. them Jelly Cat. They look like Jelly Cats. <laughs> yeah, we call them Jelly Cat in the community. It's really good. I know Speaking in Steven the Universe, they had Cookie Cat. Did they? Ooh. Cookie Cat. He's the... Uh... 
he's a treat for your tummy. Cookie Cat, he's super duper yummy. Cookie Cat, he left his mother behind. Oh no. Cookie, or his family behind. Yeah, it's very sad. It's it's a very tragic tale about, so sad about an ice cat. cream sandwich. Yeah. These are big jelly cats in this one. I mean, yeah, th those are definitely jelly cats. <laughs> Look at I them want to go, them. they're gonna eat you. No, don't eat me, jelly cat. So, in about Cookie earlier? Clicker, oh, yeah. you can pet oh, yeah. your dragon. You can get a pet dragon and pet it. But you have to unlock the ability to pet it, and I haven't done that yet. Oh no, that's so sad. Yeah, as it turns out, it takes a long time to unlock like anything in Cookie Clicker. Jelly Cat, watch out! No! No, Jelly Cat! There he goes! <laughs> Oh, this is the last fight of the story that I'm doing here. Oh, cool. Ah. I mean, this is a really nifty fight. I think it's worthy of being a final boss for one of the stories. Yeah. Defeated! Take Goodbye. that, nerd! Yeah, Four, get four tenths of a second, too slow. And there's a little bit of story. Blah, blah, hey, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Kiss and makeup. Hey. Yep, pretty much. Jelly cat. Jelly cat, jelly, jelly cat. cat, what are they feeding you? <laughs> box. I got second place. Good job, box. Behind box. Why are you a, why are you a box? <laughs> the maiden Because it fits in, in three. Because it fits in three characters. Ah. And I have box in my Twitch name, so it makes sense to me. Oh, okay. This is the other story I'm going to show off here. This is a bit different than the other ones. It's pretty much just one long fight. Uh, this person has, I think, 19 attacks. And uh... I've, I've got to just kind of survive them all. Every, every two attacks, I'm going to get my hearts back. So it's kind of like a checkpoint every other fight, every other, every other attack. Gotcha. I get to play. I get to play the Hero of Frost. That's the character I'm playing at for this one. Gotcha. Who and what are your specific is... stuff? So the Hero of Frost, I think, is probably the most basic character in the game. She has um a a very rapid firing attack. Well, you're not gonna see it here for a second because I'm kind of. To do this one quickly, you kind of have to be on top of it because you get a weird debuff. But um, she's the only character that has like a dodge roll. I can do this quick little dodge to get out of the way of things. Yeah, considering has, like, you've been slowed, you kind of have to use that. Yeah, yeah. What does the poison ability do? The poison is, I think it's just kind of for show for this one. It's making little extra bullets appear that wouldn't otherwise. There we go. All right. So this is this is Frost's attack. You just hold down the button and you shoot a bunch of tiny bolts everywhere. It's really fun in multiplayer to learn how to dodge this attack, I think. That's like that's the only thing she really does, is just shoot out a bunch of bullets and then dodge roll to reposition. But I mean, that's fine. Oops. Ah, it's fine. Like, that, that's like a valid. Yeah. It's a valid. If that's the way you want to play the game. Yeah. Don't... She also has um, a oops, an attack called Stun Wave that does a kind of an area damage around her. Is that the one that's been doing 450 damage? Yeah, yeah. In multiplayer, it stuns the enemy to like let you follow up with a quick attack, but you kind of have to be in melee range to do it, so it's a little scary. But in single player, instead of stunning the enemy, oops, I messed up. We're doing that one again. Instead of stunning the enemy, it just does a high amount of damage. I was getting a little greedy on that one. Because a lot of, some of these early attacks have parts where you can just sit on top of the boss and the the density of the bolts is a little lesser there. Because okay. that the whole like shining white circle around the enemy over there, that's the entire hitbox. Uh, I can hit anywhere on that and it'll yeah. do damage to the boss. Well, let's try this again. So. If I can just stay inside, you see the bolts are kind of spawning mostly on the outer edge of me. 
So I have actually a little less to dodge if I'm inside here. And with the dodge roll on a fairly generous cooldown, well, I'm talking crap and getting hit. <laughs> the dodge roll is a fairly generous cooldown, so you can, uh, there we go. Yeah, time to get your health back. Yeah, there we go. So, with the, the stun wave doing as much damage as it does, you can really do some extra damage. You can really speed these up if you get in there and use it, but it's a little scary, and honestly, I'm probably not as good at it as I think I am, which is why I'm getting hit so much. <laughs> uh, what Frost does have that not many of the other characters do is that there's a... Uh, there's a focus button on the game where you can hold it down and you'll move a little slower. I think a lot of a lot of shmup games like this, like Toho-ish kind of games, have something like that. I'm gonna get hit, yeah. Um, what Frost can do is if you're holding down the the focus button while you're swinging, you actually do a slightly different pattern to your attacks. And in multiplayer, that can maybe trip people up if you're alternating between them. Okay. Um, in single player, it does just a slightly better damage per second if you're uh, if you're holding down the focus. My gosh, that was scary. Okay. <laughs> so I try to do it whenever I can. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Scary. Oh. Ho, ho. Ooh. I really have to make sure I don't lose all my parts because you actually get quite a bit of setback if you end up doing that late into one of their attacks. Okay, hit again. Oh, gosh. This one's surprisingly tricky, because these... These bullets are wide, and the lasers linger, so it's a little weird. There's a lot of going back and forth between the top and the bottom, and just, like, rolling to the other side. Oh, but my roll wasn't off cooldown. Ow! Gosh. It's not your fault, it's the boss's fault. Boss yeah, it's the boss's fault. Fight. Was this an easy one? I don't remember. Uh, a little bit. This one I'm slowed on, so I move exceedingly slow. Mm. That's all right, so do the bullets. Yeah, the bullets are pretty slow. They're they're a little denser in this one, but... They're a little denser, but they are... They kind of spread out near the end. And they're, they're slow moving as well, so there's it's pretty... I, 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 like, I like that it kind of sort of emulates that feel of like when you're playing right one of these bullet hell ar arcade games and there's so many bullets it just lags the whole machine yeah <laughs> yeah i mean it, right which, that was a built-in mechanic like, for the games yeah which, which the game relies on so you actually have like space to react mm -hmm. yeah it's like we sort of make fun of like the games having so much happening that they lag but it was, uh, you know, they built the game. They were like, if there is lag, that means you can do more precise movement. We're yeah. using that. Uh, and it, it's not something that I ever thought about until people brought it up. And I was like, that makes sense. That makes perfect mm -hmm. sense. It's kind of like a, a bit of, uh, it's a little similar to pause buffering, in my opinion. A little Kinda. bit. Or bullet time or. Yeah. Yeah. This one's not too bad. Close. In my dodge cycle, if I manage to get near her, I'll try to do the, the stun wave, but it's a little it's a little scary in the later parts of the fight, because you there. don't want to be near it at all. He has too many oh. eyes. Yeah. Gotta be honest. Never trust anybody with this this many eyes. This many eyes? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna get Percent? in trouble if you try. What? It's your name too doesn't many. have any eyes in it. Corn Dan, uh, your name No, Brosentia has in one eye in it. Oh, you're right, it does. Yeah. Don't yeah, shmup don't, and spell. Not that kind of eye. No. Talk about eyeballs. Or oh. eye your <laughs> diamonds. Imons. I don't know. Imons? <laughs> Pushed! Ah! ah. <laughs> Stop pushing, stupid eye. So pushy today. Yeah. Could you be like that? Oh. 
No. Yeah, you did it. Let's see, what was I gonna say earlier? Oh yeah, I was talking about the community a bit earlier. The community for this game is small but active. Um, they have a little tournament every weekend, and I think. Um, Starting, Do you participate in the tournament? Well, starting last Sunday, I think every other weekend they're now going to be doing a beginner tournament for people who are just kind of new to the game and want to not really too much, you know, serious on it. Okay. Um, yeah, and I did participate in that one, and I got third out of six. Top bad. Better than I would have done. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a, just a fun little thing. Whoa, not nothing too serious for the beginner tournament. So if you see this and you want to, if you see this game and you want to pick it up and have, you know, actual people to play against, come on to the main spell discord. Yeah, and I, I love Oops. that they're specifically trying, like, that type of tournament specifically trying to get new people. You know, you don't oh, yeah. need experience. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drop in chat the steam link right for maiden for install of people yeah. yeah 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 i think it's 13 dollars right now sometimes it goes on it sale is. for half of that yeah it's 13. okay Ooh. Uh oh this, uh oh you're this one's a little scary yeah we're getting near the end here you see the bottom right it says we're on the eighth eye there are 10 eyes and eighth and ninth are probably the hardest ones um this giant area if i'm inside of it i cannot move so I have to do dodge roll out of the way, but make sure I'm not dodging into other bullets. Yeah. Ah. Uh oh. Uh, my stun wave also clears bolts around me, so I can use it in an emergency. Um, woo. So hopefully I'll remember to do that before I get hit. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> woo. There you go, checkpoint, we're good. Ish. Yep. After this will be the ninth, and then the there's no there's nothing before the tenth. The tenth is just kind of a auto scroller section. Gotcha. Okay. And then after that, um, I'm gonna open up for multiplayer. If anyone has the game and wants to jump in, yeah, people are welcome to do that. We definitely have enough time in the estimate here. We'll go. We'll we'll keep going. Eyes. That's I don't a like lot this. of lasers. Yeah, ninth is hard. It's a very slowly bait it. And then just to like delay long enough to get the cooldown back on your roll so you can go back the other way. I also think this is probably the longest one. I do have a tiny, it's little, maybe a little hard to see, but just to the right of my character, there's an enemy health percentage. Um, I can't take my eyes off my character oh, right now. Yeah, so, that helps. So I can't see the health bar on the top right, but luckily that percentage is down there. All right. So this one's a little bit of an all scroller. I just have to get close enough and then use my, my stun wave. Aha. Uh -huh. This one is on a bit of a timer as well. Is that close enough? Yes, it was. All right, cool. Yeah. You did it. I did it. That was the Maiden Under Spell story. Yay. Time to cry. And then they're all sad. Blah, 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 blah. Aww. There's one more story after this that's really fun, but I'm not going to I'm not going to play it. Sorry. <laughs> Fine. That's fine. Yeah, I want to see what the multiplayer looks like and, you know, do that for a while. We'll, we'll see if it keeps being fun. Okay. Yeah, we, you, can, you can cut me off any time, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's main and spell. Uh, it's got... If the multiplayer versus isn't your thing, I think the, the story mode is still fun enough. Yeah, that's really it's, interesting for like a bullet hell style game. Uh, yeah. Again, when you shut off the demo for their next game, uh, I thought it was mm -hmm. fantastic looking. It's really fascinating, uh, especially when you had more people. 
but yeah, uh, oh, let, yeah, let's see who comes and joins you. Yeah, I, I assume you have some friends you're telling. Come, play. Uh, I did, yeah. <laughs> Good. Good, they better come. I, 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 I checked with at least one person beforehand, so I'd have at least one person join. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's important. Yeah, yeah. it works. It, it looks kind of like a fighting game screen here. The eight characters. Is it just so one against... v one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. OK, so. Ah, Gaffodil and Chad is saying that they are the one person. At least the yes. one person. Yeah. All right. So I'm on the left playing Storm Beast, and Gaff is playing Arcanus, who was the character I played as during the, the first story here. Oh, with the moon. Yeah, with the moon. So, so Gaff is here to drop moons on you? Yes, pretty much. And I'm going to try not to get hit by the moon. Um, the the time There's no timer in multiplayer, but as you play without anyone taking damage, the walls close in. So it gets ah. harder and harder to dodge. Oh, things. that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Uh, so in, in multiplayer, <laughs> in multiplayer, do you get the cool Magnus attacks too? No, you don't. It's just, it's just the other part. <laughs> well, that's BS. <laughs> I want the cool Magnus attacks. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. Okay, and you take the first one. Yep, and then you just get two rounds, and then. I guess pretty much like normal fighting games, just two rounds. And then, a third and if then... it's a tie there. Yeah. Yeah, yep. And then you can go back to character select and do your thing. And this is this is probably like what most people would play the game for, in my opinion, is the, the multiplayer. Because there's not really another, I don't think there's another game kind of a versus game like this. That's like, I mean, there's, there's versus shmups like Twinkle Star Sprites but it's not quite like this. Yeah. Where you're kind of head to head. I definitely can't think of anything that's like this. Oh, the moon got you. <laughs> oh gosh. Storm, not only is Storm Beast, Storm Beast is the, the character I'm playing as, not only she's the fastest character, she has one of her skills makes her move faster too, so. Yeah, I'm really gets that. out of control. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Too fast. Oh no! Uh -huh, Too we've fast got a tie against some characters. Final round. <laughs> One of her other abilities is creating a clone that just mimics all of her attacks. So you can have two giant electric. They're not moons. We know who the real moon is here. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, you if, it, if it destroy, doesn't have okay. a C, or if it doesn't look like uh, what I see when I go outside and look at the sky, then it's not the real moon. <laughs> Come on. Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> the comeback. The bubble. It was the static thing. <laughs> yeah, Arcanus has a couple debuffs. One of the, the paralyzed one kind of sticks you in place for a second after a period of time, so it gets a little... You gotta be aware of that. Play as Jelly Cat. Jelly Cat. Yeah, Jelly Cat. Jelly Cat. We, lo we love Jelly Cat on this stream, okay? Yeah, we. It makes a cool we little. Do? We it makes a cool little meow jelly noise. Cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm gonna get destroyed, by the way. I don't think I do well against red. Oh, because of the static projectiles? Yeah, the static ones are really tough for me to deal with. I don't even see a jelly cat. Well, maybe I should use jelly cat more. I wouldn't get hit as much. There goes one. Ha! Redhead's cool thing is she has these daggers that kind of have a delay on her on throwing. Oh, gosh. But if you use her defensive, it actually resets the cooldown of them. So you can actually have quite a few out at once. Okay. Big jelly go. Oh. I also don't like how long her arrows are. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was a good <laughs> oh, <no>. combo. The, 
of bullets around you and then shoot a very mm -hmm. tight group of daggers. Yeah. Aha! There we go. Depth has this giant green thing that grows over time, and when I shoot a second one, it detonates. So, whoop, and does, ah, and gets bigger based on how long it traveled. So you can actually control quite a bit of space with her, um, as long as the opponent doesn't get out of the way of it. Whoop, instantly. It's those static bullets. I know. <laughs> I'm no good. I'm no good against the static bullets. I, it doesn't I, matter. It's because we we love Jelly Cat anyway. Yeah, I jelly, jelly Cat. Cat. I love you, Jelly Cat. Okay. <laughs> the jelliest of the cats. Hey, Tebber, fight me. I think Gaff and Tebber were people who... Um, I don't remember if Tebber or not played with me whenever we did Rabbit Yeah, Steel they, they the did. Yep. Tebber, Tebber played yeah. too. The minefield is really good area to now. Yeah, there's one character we haven't actually seen tonight yet. You're also playing Red Hood on. <laughs> ah! I mean, they chose random, I think, right? Oh no. Uh, the the character you select is hidden. Oh, okay. Well, it's okay. When you're playing as Frost, you just need to. When you're, pl I feel like when you're playing as the the hero of Frost, the character I selected, you're just kind of fighting against, like, a one-player enemy, almost. It, it feels different. I don't know. There's not a whole lot of, like, setup and stuff that you get to do with her. It's really swinging and making... and, and just waiting for the other person to make a mistake. I guess a lot of the matchups could probably boil down to just that. Well, I mean, <laughs> like, you definitely don't have as much movement with this character as uh, with others. And you've been staying, like, in the middle of the static bullets quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Dodge roll out of the way when something gets near me, and I don't have to move a whole lot. Because she gets slower when she's attacking, and even slower when I'm using the... Oops. The focus. alternate. The focus attack, yeah, so... It pays to not need to move. Being made to move is probably um, what gets people hit the most. Because <laughs> if you don't have to move, I mean, you're fine. Oh, yeah. yeah. But that's why, oops, that's why you have to make the enemy move. Everyone's seeing how actually bad I am. That's why I played single player first. <laughs> oh, you got a hit before they could even move. Go. I love it. <laughs> played single player so people would think I was good, but then they can see the actual good people destroy me. <laughs> There's the stun wave. There you go. Oh, so, yeah. jeez. Everyone... so freaking fast. <laughs> oh. Caught you. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Roll in and catch for the stun wave. That's how you do it. Wait, ding, somebody ding. has downloaded you, Meekin? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. They, they use that for a fighting game term whenever your tactics don't work anymore because the enemy has learned how to counter them. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll play as I'll play as Sun Priestess. Sun Priestess is the one character we haven't seen yet, who is probably my most hated character to fight in the game, <laughs> because of the amount of of bullet spam she has. Okay. <laughs> the waffle iron, yeah. She has people call, say that she has the the breakfast combo because all of her attacks look like. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, look, I want waffles now. Waffles and pancakes, yeah. I mean, waffles or buttons or... Like, those are really small waffles, I gotta be honest. You gotta have more... More more of the more of the squares for the syrup. <laughs> I can't deal with just four. But they're little mini waffles, right? That's, like, awesome because then you get to have more waffles. More waffles, yeah. 
Here, Honestly, a good cool. quantity of waffles I, I can appreciate, yeah. Is having more I, of them? I, I mean, you could have, like, a single, like, Belgian waffle, right? Or you could eat, like, 20 mini waffles. Yeah, but I don't think I want mini waffles. I want normal waffles. So it looks like you've got at least two main attacks. You got the waffles, you got the diamonds. Mm -hmm. And then her her pancake stamp. <laughs> Which has a deceptively long lingering hitbox to it that I get hit by all the time. Getting the walls are closing in. Yeah. They do have a minimum distance. They don't just get like a pixel wide. But it gets Dang. very hard to focus on dodging everything when it's so tiny. That could be a, like, trash compactor. Come on, smush them. And, and, and chat, yes, I would eat Stroop waffles right now. Right. Stroop yeah. waffles are great. But no, we could have anime pancakes. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Is, is that just a bunny? Is who a bunny? Right. An anime pancake? <laughs> I mean, it yeah, could be if like, you like, want. Like, like, like bunnies with pancakes on their head? It's a popular trope, yeah. I'll, I thought you were talking about smushing the bunnies, and I'm like, that's kind of morbid, Corn Dan. <laughs> Please don't smush the bunny. Yeah. What if the bunny wants to be smushed? <laughs> well, consent is important, so I guess that's okay. I don't know if a bunny can consent. Uh, anyways. <laughs> so, it, yeah, this this is a uh, you know, pretty uh, intense fight, although uh, I think there's a lot more distance between you two, at least in uh, with oh. these two characters. Ow! Yeah. Sun, Sun Priestess does not want to be near the opponent. <laughs> yeah. She, her, her defensive capabilities are not all that great. She does not do good against opponents that are in your face. Yeah, I but mean, it, she has waffles. It seems like most of the projectiles don't even form until they're a certain distance away from you. That is correct. Yep, that is one tactic you can use against her. Is that they're when you release them, they are not active for a certain amount of time. I'm really bad at using my defensive to not get hit, but that's why I'm in the beginner tournament. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. You can not be good at games and still enjoy playing games. I'm not good at a lot of games. I'd say you're still yeah. pretty good at this. Like the better than maybe. better than I would be. <laughs> but yeah, if anyone does attend GDQs, I had such a good time running the one tournament I did for this at AGDQ that I'm gonna try. If they accept it every time, I'll try to do that every year. We had a good. Oh, crap. oh no! We had a good. We had. I think we had maybe six or eight people, which no one had played the game before, so it was really funny. Well, that's fun. <laughs> the turn on people who don't know how to play the game. Well, just learning on the fly. I really love that. You mm -hmm. know. Here, you two fight. I'll commentate a match, and then and then maybe we can wrap up. <laughs> this game has a spectator mode too. Oh, really? Yeah. And watch them play. There's okay. also emotes. This that you can put in the, the game chat. Ah. That's my favorite one. She looks so angry. <laughs> yeah. Well thanks for letting me on to show this funny little game the other game by the other game by mino dev yeah it's um, it's been nice okay let's see how these two do gaffadilla and teber they both had some good fights against you but how will they i do didn't win against they both each beat other? me i mean yeah. you won once did i oh maybe i did yeah. oh wait i did yeah good job me good job you okay oh, yeah, all of the bullets are the same color that's a little disorienting. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say as a spectator. Oh, jeez. Gosh, the the there are alternate colors for the characters. 
And uh, we've seen both of these as their other colors, their normal colors, but their other ones are very much similar to each other, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, they... <laughs> it's kind of amazing. <laughs> oh, nice double hit. Mm. Whenever you hit the enemy, you are you get like a second and a half of invincibility or so. So dual hits do not usually happen, but there might maybe some sort of latency thing that would allow them to happen. <laughs> okay. That or if it's like right. If it's on the exact same frame, there's a possibility. Probably more yeah, latency yeah. than anything else, yeah. Mm-hmm. So Storm Beast can can hold these giant things and like they actually have an active hitbox, so you can you can kind of melee with them if you're Ooh, okay. if you're feeling feisty enough. It looks like right now Tebir uh Oh. Got one win, Whoa. Gaffodil getting the one, one. other. Now let's see who can snatch the victory here. For all the Stroop waffles. All of them. And <laughs> the bunny pancakes, I guess. Oh yeah, the bunny pancakes. Uh, when you're when you're actively playing, there's an option to dim your own bullets. So it doesn't look nearly this bad for the players, I would assume. Like it's not quite as as eye straining. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> well, Gaffodil, you've got you've got some work. You've got some oh, work gosh. to do. Oh, there we go. You got the hit. Okay, you just need three that. more hits. It's still a little oh. bit unlikely. And oh. there we go, Gaffodil, going the down. The static bullets are really hard for Storm because she's just so fast. <laughs> Yeah, I'm done. I'm I'm satisfied with what I've shown. Cool. If so, so we can... yeah, we could call that yeah. good then. Yeah, Sweet. yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for showing the game off. I definitely enjoyed this. I, it's a lot of chaos. It's really <laughs> quite enjoyable. Maiden and spell. I'm also really excited Yay. for the the next game that's coming out. Be just the co-op that you were showing off that one yeah, time. Yeah, Rabbit and so Steel. Cool. Yep. That, I don't think there's Rabbit been a. Steel. Yeah, I don't think there's been a specific date given when that releases, but it should theoretically be this year. Ooh. Okay. Good to know. So yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. Well, From everybody. From a versus game to a co-op game. <laughs> Yeah, Meekins, again, is always around in the community doing stuff, sometimes playing in Cusa Grande, sometimes uh, playing over on the other server, or uh, playing with other people on other servers. I guess you have a social life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What's the social life? <laughs> I don't know anymore. Well, we are going to go ahead and call it for tonight. If you all would like to play on Don't Make Us Bored, we welcome anybody uh, to come and play games that they have experience with, that they don't. If you have a game that you want to show off, but you just want to do a showcase, that is completely fine as well. Come and play. I want more people. Exclamation point DMUB in Twitch chat. Other than that, thank you so much, Meekin, and thank yeah. you, Corn Dan, for being here as always. Now, who are we yeah. gonna ru run raid? Maybe P Sag. I don't know. I I see P Sag live. I don't see too many other people who I would like to bother. So I think it's gonna be the egg. The egg. The egg of all eggs. Do I have a good raid message? Made peace egg. Uh, was there a good message from RZ? RZ? RZ probably had a lot of good ones. Oh no. I mean, we could also just do a Zelda CDI one. I won. Gee, it sure is boring around here. Uh, as long as they don't, as long as they don't take it personally. Oh, yeah, squat a lot. That'll be better. Squat a lot. <laughs> they squat a lot. Okay, squat a lot.
go squad a la we're off we're off see you friends take care bye bye